Nick Carey is the narrator in the first person of Jay Gatsby history. He is a young ordinary man coming from the Midwest that moves to New York to work in the financial field. He goes to live in a small house in Long Island, in a residential zone called West Egg, where the new rich resided. He is a silent man and a good listener, and accordingly the other ones have the tendency to speak to him and to confide their secrets too. His neighbor is Jay Gatsby, a man famous for his luxury parties. Gatsby comes to trust him particularly, and trusts him as his best friend, despite himself. Only after the death of Gatsby, Nick will understand how alone he was. Nick's personality is the other rise introduced in the two film and estranging himself from the original text. A very different scene is in the presentation of Nick in the film. In the first 1973 film, Nick Carraway, who is a stock trader, is introduced on a boat uh, of his small boat while he is crossing the channel of the bay going to his cousin Daisy's house. In the second edition, Nick is shown in a study of a psychologist intent to resolve his related problems with alcohol. Initially, the film shows Nick's working in his bank office, and after that he shows us as a rival to Daisy and Tom's house. Don't get burned. A scene that shows some analogies is the tea scene. Gatsby asks a favor to Nick, the possibility to meet Daisy at his house. In the 1973, Daisy enters Nick's house and notices the reflex of Gatsby in the mirror. Daisy is in awe to sight of Gatsby and the two remain to start themselves for some time. They go to Gatsby's house. While the 2013 scene is rich of details, we see Gatsby particularly shaken for Daisy's arrival, so much to make him escape under the rain. When Gatsby arrives, Daisy is quite embarrassed, and after Nick leaves them alone, the two find a certain harmony. After that, the three of them will head to Gatsby's house. Your heart's a mess. 